What's up, Nintendo Buzz fans? This is King Daddy DMAC coming at you, and this is my first upload on Nintendo Buzz, NinBuzz. And just to introduce myself a little bit, um, I have been asked to be a director here on Nintendo Buzz. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've been YouTubing for about a year now, pretty close to, and I do primarily Pokemon competitive Wi-Fi battling. And uh, I pretty much specialize in the OU tier, although I do mix it up and uh, do most about everything. But uh, yeah, here we go. I have an overused battle with another fellow YouTuber, Depurious5. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool battle. So here we go. He starts off with a lead Metagross and I have a lead Swampy. We both set up our entry hazards first turn and uh, on the second turn he goes for an Earthquake and I'm predicting him to switch. So I go for the Surf. And uh, it's pretty good for me because of the fact he didn't switch plus he didn't explode. He probably doesn't have that move, but even if he does, I'm not really... I know I have super effective Earthquake towards him, so I go ahead for that, just in case he stays in again, since he stayed in last turn. But he switches into his Vaporeon, and I know that the Vaporeon, it's a physical wall, can't really do much to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and roar him out, because I don't like him there. I'm predicting he'd probably go for the Wish, but he ends up going for Fake Tears, which is pretty cool. Unusual move, you don't really see that often, but definitely effective. Brings, uh, sharply lowers my Special D. But on the roar, I roar him into a hair cross, which is a physical attacking poke. So I'm not too worried about that special D drop. Um, he ends up going for a substitute, which is pretty interesting. Um, definitely not a traditional hair cross set. Most times they tend to be uh, just either uh, some type of choice item. But either way, um, I'm not wanting him to stay in. He's probably just going to keep on subbing down. So I'm just going to roar him right back out, bring him into his Vaporeon. So once again, um, I'm looking pretty good, but now I'm going to want to probably switch out just because he had lowered my special uh, defense from before, and he ends up switching as well. So now I am in my Vaporeon, and I predicted him to go for a Surf, but he didn't, and now that he is in his Azelf, I'm fearing the Electric-type move because Azelf is a uh, special attacker. He goes for the Thunderbolt, so that's great. Um... Flygon being ground type is immune to the electric type moves and I'm going to go ahead and U-turn right out doing super effective bug type damage to the psychic and now I go into my scissor he goes for the psychic I'm going to resist that and not take a lot of damage at all and this is great I got him in a spot where I can either bullet punch to take him out or I can pursue predicting the switch. I know because of Stealth Rocks, he's probably not going to switch. And also, he's probably going to predict the pursuit. So I just go ahead and Bullet Punch, and that takes his itself out. Now, he goes into his Electrovire. And uh, I'm going to switch back into my Swampy, just knowing that I can resist, again, most that he has. Right there, it shows me this guy is now probably a special Electrovire. Um, he can really go either way or either be mixed. But unfortunately, it looks like he's carrying the uh, Hidden Power Grass, so that kind of sucks. It's going to take my Swampy right out since uh, that's four times super effective against me, and I don't have any special uh, defense EVs whatsoever, no investment. But I'm going to go back into my Flygon, and uh, being Scarfed, I know I'm going to outspeed, and uh, yeah, go ahead with a super effective Earthquake to take out his Electivire. I was kind of, I, I really thought that he'd switch there, but I guess he was just thought that I'd over predict and predict the switch and you turn, but either way, that's good for me. Now he goes into his Gyarados, which is flying water, and I'm going to have to switch out, and uh, he's going to go ahead for the Thunder Wave, which is another interesting move as well, and he was predicting my switch right there because he went for that because that wouldn't have affected the Flygon being ground. So that was a pretty good move on his part, but um, now he goes for the Swagger and I'm thinking, what the heck? That's going to boost my special attack and confuse me. But he probably thought that I was a physical Rachi. I'm just going to go ahead for the Thunderbolt. I break through the confusion. That's very cool. And I'm going to just take his Gyarados out in one shot with the super effective electric move. So that is 
badass. He goes now into his Heracross. I'm going to switch out just because I don't like that confusion. Go into my Vaporeon, which is going to be able to take anything that he does to me very well. He ends up going for the sub again, which is pretty cool because I carry Roar in this Vaporeon. And I can just Roar him out right now. And he's going to die whenever he comes back in from the uh, Stealth Rocks that I put out first turn. So... He goes for the reversal, and that's going to do a shit ton, but I'm going to live with 20 H8, 28 HP, roar him out, and now that Heracross is no longer a problem. And uh, I have nothing to hit this Vaporan with, but I'm thinking that he might not have anything to hit me with either. So I'm just going to go ahead and wish up and, you know, just hope that I can survive anything he hits me with. He does have the Ice Beam, but that's not going to be quite enough to take me out. And uh, I'm going to be able to just heal right up from that wish. So that's pretty cool. I go for the protect. As he goes for the wish, predicting the protect himself, I'm going to heal right up. And uh, things are looking good. Now that I know that he carries the ice beam, I know that he carries the surf. He has fake tears and he has wish. So I'm not worried at all. There's nothing he can do to me. So he's going to switch out knowing that and go into his Metagross. And uh, this turn right here, I'm going to wish again, just knowing that he couldn't do anything to me. Um, and because of the switch, um, you know, he's able to heal up on his wish. And I'm probably going to want to switch out as well. But I go for the Surf right here. Get some damage on to his Metagross. Doesn't do a lot, but it's okay. And he goes for the Meteor Mash, which I resist, and it's not going to do that much. I'm going to heal right up to full HP once again. So, I don't know. Unless he has the Explode or the Thunder Punch on this guy, it's not really going to do that much. Now, just to sort of stall him out, feel him out what he's doing, I'm just going to stay in, go for another Wish. And he gets a crit, but again, doesn't even do half. So, I'm sitting fine right here this turn i'm going to go for the surf once again just sort of get that guy down on hp and he goes for the explosion so he ends up carrying that move which i was fearing but um it's really not going to be all that bad i've taken out most of his physical attackers on the team already and he's able to take me down but no biggie now he has two pokes left, he has his Vaporeon, and he has that Heracross, which is about to die. So all I gotta do is take out this Vaporeon, I go now into my uh, Physical Sweeper, Infernape, go straight for the close combat, it's gonna be an easy KO once he's at half or half HP. So goodbye Vaporeon, he's gonna have his Heracross come in, and he's gonna die to the entry hazards. So good game to Purius. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed my first Nintendo uh, Buzz Wi-Fi battle, and uh, I'm gonna have a lot to come. Um, if you did enjoy this, please come check out my channel. I have about over a hundred uh, other uploads of Pokemon Wi-Fi battles on my own channel, so definitely come check it out, and uh, stay tuned for more comment, like, subscribe, and peace out.